My name's Heidi. I'm a dual Olympian and I'm 28 years old. Uh, so I wake up at 4.45 every morning. Um, I swim train 10 times a week. Uh, so 10 swimming sessions, 2 gym sessions and physio and massage in between. Uh, during the day after swimming, training finishes at 7.30 in the morning. I head to work where I've got a graduate law uh, lawyer position in a uh, commercial law firm in the city. Take the bus into the city, work uh, till 4 o'clock, take the bus back to training and train again from 4.30 to 7 at night. Rush home, eat dinner and repeat five times a week. <laughs> so I started over water swimming about 2010. I'd, I'd done pool swimming since I was about eight years old. So I competed at an international level for about 10 years before I went into open water swimming. Um, and I, I got fast tracked through the Olympics. I missed the uh, world champs and skipped the common games and managed to get a spot into London. Um, and that really kind of catapulted my open water swimming career. And after that, I just knew that I loved it so much that I wanted to keep going to Rio 2016. Um, I guess, contrary to popular belief, training at an elite level uh, isn't necessarily the healthiest thing for most people. So, um, because of the amount of training I do, my body is actually under a lot of stress, so my immune system is compromised. Um, I've got to take extra care of my health to make sure that I'm on top of things and I'm not falling sick and injured, at which you're more susceptible to training at the top level. So um, I take precautions, like I take um, multivitamins uh, at, at best, and I eat really well. I try to get as much sleep, stay hydrated, and um, also try to take some downtime for myself and just really try to maintain a balanced lifestyle. Uh, I was actually searching for some meals to help my dad out who's a mechanic at work and, and I wanted to really help him improve his diet so I started looking around for meals and I came across paleo meals direct. He's the type of guy that would never eat a salad um, for lunch and I'd ordered him a few meals from other places and he was just so unimpressed and I ordered him a stack of meals from um, the PMD crew and he just loved it. The amount of meat and the filling meals themselves were great and uh, yeah, then I thought I'd steal a few pies up for myself and I, I just read a bit more about the guys and read about what they did and um, how they source their food from sustainable sources, which was what I was starting to do um, from home myself and yeah, that's where it all began. So usually before PMD came on board, I spent most of my weekend uh, prepping my meals for the week and every night I get home about 7.30. Uh, for me to get eight hours sleep at night, I've got to be in bed by 8.30 to 9, which is just not doable because I have to prepare my breakfast, lunch and dinner the night before because my partner works um, out all day as well. So it was really cutting into my recovery time and uh, just my downtime. So now that P&D is on board, um, I'm able to just run to the freezer in the morning, grab a couple of meals and I take them to work with me so I have my breakfast and my lunch, go to see a and at work, it's just saved to me a truckload of time. I really enjoy the chilli from Carnan, um, it's just, I make something similar at home but obviously the guys put so much effort into the flavours and the herbs and the spices are just something that I wouldn't have the time or probably the means to put together and yeah, um, yeah that's really enjoyable. People often, first of all, are scared off by the term paleo, but they're also confused when I say that I'm an athlete and also a marathon athlete that lives off a paleo diet. And the way I explain it is that being paleo is mainly about eating unprocessed foods and finding the most nutrient-dense foods possible, cutting out sugar, eating loads of vegetables and, and making good quality meat. I mean, there's nothing scary about that to me, it makes sense. Um, as an athlete, I try to find the most nutrient-dense quality foods and naturally they are unprocessed foods. And that's what I tell people, it's all about what works for you, but for me it's about quality food, lots of veggies, lots of meat and uh, quality food.